Apple is being sued in a landmark legal challenge that sees the tech giant accused of ripping off customers by locking them into saving data in their iCloud. The consumer rights group, which claims Apple breached UK competition law by giving its storage system preferential treatment. The case also alleges the company overcharges customers as a result of the lack of competition. And if the legal action against Apple is successful, around 40 million British customers could get compensation. Our science and technology reporter Mickey Carroll sent this update from Web Summit in Lisbon. Which has got this huge landmark case against Apple here, looking for £3 billion back for customers. And it's all around how Apple uses its iCloud services. So which says Apple customers are locked in to using the iCloud to back up their pictures, their messages, and all of their data. And which says that that's created this really kind of anti-competitive market in the UK where no one can really compete with Apple for that, for that service. But it's also meant that Apple customers, they say, have been overcharged for that iCloud service. Now, this is a huge case. It's, op it's, it's, a, it's an opt-out case, so which is representing nearly 40 million UK Apple customers. So anyone that's used the iCloud since 2015 and is an Apple customer is going to be represented in this case. If anyone doesn't want to be represented by them, they actually have to contact which and say, I opt out of this. And because there's so many people, that, th that £3 billion figure breaks down, which says to about £70 per person on average that people could get back if they're successful in this case. Now, it's important to say Apple completely rejects what which is saying about the way they use iCloud. They say their customers aren't locked in to using their services. And in fact, nearly half of them actually use different services like Google Drive or SharePoint to back up their data. But like you said, I'm here in I'm here in Lisbon at a big tech conference. When I've been talking to people here, they say that with cases like this and others that are happening around the world, especially in the US, the best outcome for these, if people want to challenge big tech, isn't just about fines or money. It's not just that three billion pound figure. It's also about making these companies take action to change the way they work. So which doesn't just want money back for customers that they think has been overcharged. They also want Apple to change the way it operates to give people more options on how they want to use their devices and which services they want to give their money to.